Hello everybody and welcome back to Willwire. Today you get to see my setup for the most part, but I'm going over the Hyperbase Mix. Now this thing is actually really awesome. Problem is LaunchBox, but I'll get to that. So unboxing it simple. I had a little device. Oh, I'm sorry if you can't see me. My system's not, or my whole setup here is not exactly set up for being on the computer normally. It's on the TV. So you're seeing my chairs where I normally be. So, and uh, I can't use my light currently because the uh, hyperbase is taking up the last slot that the light would be in. So I'll fix that on my next video as well that I do on the computer. But for this, I figure this is the most important part anyway. So here we have all this stuff here. It comes with the hard drive, which is five terabyte. You plug it into your computer, plain and simple, right in the USB. Loads up, no problems. All right, so first thing I did, I went to the emulation station. Worked fine. I went to LaunchBox, wouldn't open. It's like, okay, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Went to Play Night, worked fine. Everything's good. Went back to LaunchBox, messed with it a bit, couldn't make it work. Looked up videos, couldn't make it work. The whole reason I bought this thing, LaunchBox. Figures, right? So I contact Amazon customer support. They can't help me. They sent me to the customer, to the person that sold it. And now I gotta wait two days before I can figure out whether or not I can get this thing to work. So my review for this thing is not so great right now. However, the emulation station is a lot better than my Super Console X currently. And Play Night, I'm never gonna use because I don't trust it. I don't trust the fact that those games on there are so new. So, emulation station, I'll show you guys this. If it loads there we go it is a fairly slow load but there are quite a few games on here oh wow that's a lot faster than the first time so the thing i noticed about this compared like i didn't go through it very much i, I connected my xbox controller to it which is where the other slot came in because i had to unplug stuff but um i noticed that unlike the super I forgot about that little tidbit. The uh, music is really loud on this thing. But it uh, it's really cool that it actually has that to begin with, though, because the Super Console didn't have that. But it doesn't have a music. But anyway, as I was saying, um, there's 54,000, 55 games on this, right? But if you go through these games, like let's say uh, we go into the all game. Oops. Oh. Okay, so I haven't really done much of this yet. Unfortunately, my controller setup, I thought I listed it properly, but the way that it was designed, like it showed the A button and all that other stuff where you want to list it as, but it also had a indication on where A was positioned. Well, the X Pro didn't have it like that. You press A for A, that kind of stuff. It didn't work out that way. That or make my controller say, hang on, let's just do this way. Uh, okay, so we it that way. Okay, then we can do this, and then pop it up, down and down, left to left, right to right, start, select. See, this is where it threw me off, because it shows A as being on the right. Well, I want it to be down. And I want that to be here, and I want that to be here, and that to be here. Uh, okay, so left, left, right, right. Oh, I did it again. Well, whatever, I don't care. I'm not going to use that for really anything anyway. Okay, so now that I've done that, it should theoretically be... Okay, so now it's working. Okay, I don't know what happened last time. Whoa, no, what's going on here? See, now B is A again. I, I, I don't know. I don't I don't like that. It's not the same as the other one. Uh, anywho, so is it B now? Yep, there we go. Okay, so yeah, uh, so let's do an example of this. So this game's played 40, but I've never played anything on here. I haven't touched a single game. So if you go through, you'll see that there is no duplicates. I mean, there is here, but you can see there is a difference. This one's the Japanese one, this one's the British one. And you know, that happens in a lot of these things, but that's a good thing in some situations. Because in some countries, their game was slightly different than in these countries. Now, another thing I've noticed compared to the X-Pro is all of these on the side are in English. Every last one of them. In the X-Pro, pretty much everything was in different languages. Oops. This one, 
Go take a turn though. No, no, maybe not. Nope, see, but that one wasn't. I thought I saw one, so I pressed the thingy and I hit the wrong button. But yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna do a full in depth thing for this just yet. I want to go and get everything all situated, but I figured I would give you guys a little bit of a showing as to what's on here, you know? And, uh, it's just gonna be a short video, it's not gonna be long. But I got certain things on here that I've never even played before, like the Sega M2, the Sega Mega Drive 32X. Well, I've played that, but this has 37 games. The other one only had, like, a couple. Sega Model 3, and Naomi has 109 games on it. There's just a lot of these that stand out. And because it's on the computer, I have a keyboard. So I can play all these computer games. And there's a lot of things on here. Like, from what I have researched, this will work better than the X-Pro did in every way. So, I don't know how to do like end games. Like, if I can do that with a computer monitor or not. But I'll look into that in the future. Um, there's achievements, which I know nothing about. So let's go into it. Ah, oh, no entries found. Oh well. I don't know if that means there is none or how that works, but... Uh, let's see, they got the Capcom play systems. They even got, like, my brand and stuff. Different things, action, adventure, all that. It, it's pretty cool that they took the time to separate all of these things. Not quite what I'm looking for at the moment, though. Let's see, let's get through all this. 3DO has 138 games. Like, I have never seen anything have 3DO games. I looked into the 3DO games, and most of them don't look all that great. I looked them up online. There's a couple I'm interested in. Uh, but, like, okay, so the reason that Arcade has 11 is most under main. So there are specific ones like the Atari Lynx. You don't see that very often. Jaguar as well. I don't even know what this one is. Bomby Turbo? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, let's take a quick look at the Wonder Swan real quick. Oops, it is again. Oh, okay. There we go. Wonder Swan. I wonder... All of these are in English. I wonder, uh... If the games are translated or not. That would be kinda cool, huh? Capcom System 1, 2, and 3. That's that, so I think I know what that is, but I'm not that sure. PC Engine has 296, that's pretty cool. Now, the problem I'm facing here is the games I really wanted, like GameCube, N64, those are all under Launchbox, and if I can't open Launchbox, there's not a whole lot that I can do. But the satellite view is on this thing. Like, how even did they manage that? Uh, the Virtual Boy is the one I'm actually very curious about, because... That's weird, I don't remember some of these. I thought I had them all, but... Okay, so here, for example, is the American version of Jack Bros. Now we're going to do a little bit of a test, because on the other one, Jack Bros will work, but it was so... Like, I did one video of it, because it was so hard to get the sound to properly work, and basically, it, it was just too atrocious to keep going. So I had to stop. There, there was no playing that one. Wow, this is really quiet now. I like how it was so loud, but now it's quiet. Let's turn it up so we can make sure it works. Oh my god, I think it works. actually sounds right. Holy cow, it's in English. It's English, and it sounds right. Would you look at that? I can actually go and play this game on here now. It's running the right speed and everything. I can read it. It's running the right speed. It doesn't sound like crap. Okay, so I'm not going to play it right now, but, uh, wait, uh, exit, uh, uh, this one? 
Oh, I want a screenshot. I just took two screenshots of this. Nope. Uh oh. Okay, how do I get out? Alright, so now we have a little bit of a problem. My exit button and my screenshot button are the same thing. I didn't even know I could take screenshots, but here I am taking screenshots now. Oh, and now I can't do anything. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, so my controller has that middle button that opens up the thing, and I guess I have to use the mouse to go back into it. Oh, that's annoying. This is kind of an interesting one, too. Now that I've gone through all that hell. Alright. Alright, so let's check out the 4 dc That's pretty cool. Game Boy Advance, Pokemon Mini. This is another one that I really wanted on my X Pro and was listed as having it in the team. I don't know anything about this, but I look forward to actually going into it and trying it out. So the DS and 3DS has 21 games. Doesn't look like anything all that special, to be perfectly honest. I've heard Lego games on 3DS aren't very good. That's just kind of cool. Plus, if it's anything like the Super Console was, it's going to be kind of hard to use it. I'm gonna turn it down a little more. Whoop. Too far. Super Ness. I don't even know what that one is. The Atomus Wave is another good one. But yeah, so we've gone through a bit of these now. Um, I'm not gonna bother doing the whole in depth test like I was talking about before. Uh, I'm gonna save that for another video after I get this whole thing done. And when that happens, I'll do a game for each of the systems, show how it works and stuff. But uh, I just wanted to show this off, show how it works and stuff. I'm not going to go into the play night. That one I'm definitely not going to do. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And if you have, I will catch you all in the next episode. Where hopefully I will tell more about this. Because I really, really want this to work. But is that monkey ball? What? Okay, well that's, that's definitely something for a future site but yeah get you on the next one bye okay so as a little bit of an update to the video that i was going to post i'm going to put this at the end of it so you can see what was going on this right here yeah i moved my camera and that and hopefully the sound is fixed i already edited that other video i'm going to attach this to it don't worry anyway <laughs> so the launch box is not plug and play not at all you have to download this from that side up there and it was hell I spent like like I don't have any tech savviness to any of this so I didn't really know what I was doing so I had to look up things for five let me, let me see the time here it is 940 I've been looking this up since I got home at four <laughs> it's been over five hours of trying to figure this out but I got this I downloaded this I had to switch it to administrator I had to switch my thing to M I can't explain that any better than that. You'll have to look at uh, Retro Game Core for that because that I still can't figure it all out even after watching it. Um, but this finally popped up after I allowed all that stuff to go through. Not sure how I feel about that afterwards, but it's here. I can finally check this stuff. Can I move with my controller? No, I cannot. So my controller cannot control this apparently. I haven't tested any of this yet. I got this up. I'm like, oh, I gotta go click this on, uh, click on this and get this going. But yeah, so as you can see, GameCube, 451 games. Then you got the N64 with 385, uh, Dreamcast has 301. Like I said before, I'm not gonna click on everything and go through every little thing. I just want to click on these so you can see what they have. 933, damn. But. Uh, what I was most interested in is here now. Now that I finally have this working, I've still obviously got to set up the camera and the lights and all that better than I have it. i got to figure that out somehow. But all this stuff here is what I was doing this for. And let's just click on one that I know I want to play. I know I want to play a 40 wink, so we'll go with that one. Uh, play. My controller's still plugged in. So this should theoretically work. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay. Controller is listed. Expansion pack found. Good. 
I have this turned down because of how the other one was so loud. Oh, is my A button actually working now? Oh, look at that. I can actually turn it up. That's as loud as it goes. Hmm. I haven't played this game in so long. Rough and Tumble. I didn't even remember their names. Okay, no talking, no pillow fights, and no reading under the covers. But mom, it works. It's boring. Yeah, there's no Okay. Uh is it the same as the other one? Oh dear. Oh dear. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of this one. Okay, so that was kind of confusing. Apparently you can't use the controller to exit out. You have to hit escape twice. But, hey, you know what? Lesson learned. Uh, can I use the controller still? No. Okay. So that one worked just fine. I didn't see any issues with it at all. So let's try GameCube, because that's what I was actually mostly doing this for. Amazing Island. I know exactly what I want, but I gotta find it. Uh, shouldn't be too far down. I didn't know it was on GameCube. Oh, oh, did I go too far? No. Maybe. Oh, here it is. I have so many copies of Future Tactics. F-Zero is one of my... It's probably the only GameCube game... Or not GameCube game. The only racing game I've ever liked is F-Zero. I've had it since I was a little kid. Wow, that's a lot of free space. <laughs> oh, I guess B is back to being A again? Oops, that was correct. Okay, this game's a little bit louder. Let's go with that. How do I, how do I exit? There it is. down a little bit. A little bit different now that the mic is directly over the sound. It's going to be harder to hear me and louder for that. I've got to get used to a whole new setup now. Ooh. That's a little choppy. Man, I have not done this in so long. Just quickly choose some stuff, get into the game, see how it actually plays. We've already seen some lag. Mostly sound, so let's just see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know where to play. Bad lag there. This video is going to be longer than I thought. You know, there may be a little bit of stutter and lag here and there, but honestly, this is not bad. Could be my computer. I really don't think it is, though. I can see this playable. Yeah, I, I can definitely see this being playable. And there was only uh, a little bit of lag right at the very beginning of the out. Yeah, I got no problem with this at all. You got boost power. Oh, well, that was great. I thought I was just saying, I thought. <laughs> okay, I think I figured it out. Anyway, okay, no, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Like that. Alright, so we know that works. How about Dreamcast? I'm not gonna do too many more. You know what? We'll go straight to PS2 and we'll just test this one out and see if it's good. Because if it is, then literally anything else will work. I mean, GameCube just worked, so I would imagine anything else would work. I'm gonna find something that's actually good though. Something that has a lot of. Uh, takes a lot of power. I don't even know. It's been so long since I played anything on here. Ooh, they got Code Lyoko on here. Definitely have to do that later. What about Shadow the Colossus? But that's all the way down in the S's. Crazy Frog had a game? Really? Let's go with. What is the point of even... Oh, you know what? This has some pretty powerful scenes in it. Okay, it's running. That's a good sign. 
Music's good. Currently no slowdown. Ooh, I heard a little bit. Is it bad that I've replayed this multiple times but I don't remember that part? I remember this. As as I don't remember the other part. I would say this works fine. This looks like it's working just fine to me anyway. Yeah, okay, so aside from aside from that little uh, horribleness of getting this to go, I would say this is a pretty good deal. I'm going to have to fix my reviews on this system now and update the thing because I had to talk to Amazon and everything trying to figure this out. It should not say out of the box ready. The other two systems, sure, you plug this thing in, you can get those up. This is the main one that people are going to want. I, I, I can pretty much assure that, like especially with the GameCube and stuff. If it's not all out of the box ready, it should not be listed to out of the box ready. So my review is still going to be a little bit negative, but the fact that this is all working, I'm pretty happy with this now. I really am. I paid $218, I think it was, for this thing, and I kind of wish I would have got controllers with it. I mean, I probably never use them, but point is, that much money, you should get controllers. Just, not just this little tiny box. This is, this is what I got. This itty bitty box. That's it. Anyway, I hope you guys have still enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next episode. Oh, and tell me what you think down in the comments below. Bye!